Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see what are the metadata tables and what are the metadata columns which are normally used for the trust and validation rules. Trust and validation rules are definitely useful to determine the golden record or to determine the survivorship. So let's see what are the columns and what are the tables which are normally used for this trust and validation rules. The first table used is named as a control table. If your party name or your base object name is C underscore BO underscore party, then the control table associated with such table will be appended with underscore CTL. The control table that is CTL table is an internal master data management metadata table which is used to track the information needed to calculate the trust. Let's see what are the columns in the control table. For each trusted column in base object, four columns exist in the control table. For example, you have one trusted column in base object such as party full name. There will be four columns exist in that control table. For example, the first column is xx underscore lrs. LRS nothing but last row ID system. So even if you enable one uh, column in the base object for trust, for example, party full name, there will be four columns exist in the control table. One for the last row ID system. Second will be SRX, that is row ID X-ray. Of the X-ray, that last provided survived value for the sale. Then LUD, that is source last update date, of the x -rep, that last provided survival value for the sale. And the fourth column is OTS. It is encoded value for the admin trust overrides. So these are the four columns will be available in the control table whenever you enable any trust setting for any base object column. There is one to one relationship between base object and control table if trust is defined for the base object. Validation control table. This is second table for the trust and validation. The, uh, call, the table will be appended with the VCT. The validation control table is an internal MDM metadata table that is used for tracking whether the survived cell values failed any validation rule. If the validation rule failed, then the appropriate value will be populated. Let's see what are the columns in the validation control table. For each base object column that has validation flag enabled, so if you remember in the base object level, whenever we create a column for the base object, various properties will be available to select. And one of the properties is nothing but the validation flag. If you enable that flag, there are three columns in the control table. Validation control table will be get created. First column is VOK, validation OK flag. Value will be 0 and 1. It indicates whether the cell passed all validations rule or not. The second column is VPC, that is downgrade impact percentage. PC means percentage and means validation percentage. So downgrade impact percentage. If VOK value is false, then this is the percentage downgrade to be applied. Means what are the percentage is given. Then next column is RMT, reserved minimum trust indicator. If VOK is false, that means the value of the VPC column has the dependent, uh, the value in the RMT table, RMT column has the dependence on VPC column. So uh, VOK column. If if VOK column falls, then this indicates whether the resultant trust after the down, downgrade can be less than the minimum trust. So that is the to calculate the reserve minimum trust. So this is the RMT indicator which will help us to check whether the minimum trust 
is after the downgrading task or not. So these are the three columns will be enabled whenever you enable any base object column for the validation flag. Of course, there is a one-to-one -one relationship between base object and VCT table if validation is switched on for any column in the base object. Next table is validation X-ray control table. So it ends with VXR. Validation cross-reference control table that is VXR table has the same structure as VCT table that is validation control table but is recorded as an XREF reference means all the record from the XR table will be inserted in the VXR. All the records in the base object will be inserted into the VCT. So the VXR table will be maintained at the XF level. That is ROID XF is a part of the key. And it records the date. So it is the more of history at XF level. CTL that is control table, VCT that is validation control table, VXR that is validation XR control table are populated by the load procedure. CTL and VCT tables are updated by load and merge processes procedures for the process. Some of the important facts. Metadata tables used for the internal purposes only and do not insert or update record in these tables directly outside of MDM. So, the, so the, what does it mean? So if you want to achieve any custom uh, control or custom validation using this metadata tables, do not insert or update directly because the behavior of this table will vary if you try to update this table. So it is strongly recommended do not directly update or insert any record in these tables otherwise your trust survivorship will be impacted then how can you uh, handle this so informatica provide the corresponding api to deal with these tables so you can go ahead and use those apis particularly informatica services integration framework that is safe api I hope this tutorial will definitely help you to understand what are the metadata tables, what are the metadata columns which are normally used for the trust and validation. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions about my Informatica videos, you can mention the comment section of this video. Thank you and have a nice time.